For a game with simple graphics, the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition does not perform like one. In this video, I'll show you how to eliminate sudden FPS drops, reduce stuttering, and increase FPS without compromising the looks of the game. Before we dive into the settings, let's set the game to DirectX 12 mode first as this helps in reducing stutters. Go to your settings in the Rockstar Launcher. Select the title, and then add the dash DX12 line in the launch arguments of all three games. Visual effects affect the quality of lighting in the game. Honestly, I can barely tell the difference between the ultra and the high setting, yet I felt a big jump in FPS right away when I switched to high. It gives a nice 30 to 50% performance boost without a noticeable visual difference. In some scenarios like the cutscenes, there's almost a 2 times increase in FPS switching from ultra to high. You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey, hey! Big smoke! It's me, Carl! Chill, chill! CJ. Oh my god! What's up? <laughs> Medium doesn't give that much of a boost, and the change is much more noticeable compared to high. So for visual effects, I recommend staying on the high settings. Car reflections is perhaps the most important setting to change, as it alone can affect the overall playability of the game. It's that bad. Cube map is the worst out of the four settings, with random FPS drops all over the place. It's clearly broken, and Rockstar should address this in a future patch. Planar is okay, but performance is still not up to par. I recommend going with the screen setting for now, as it gives the most stable experience. Speaking of broken settings, another one is vehicle light quality. If your FPS suddenly tanks when passing multiple cars at night, this is the culprit. The shadows cast by the headlights is what drives the FPS down. Anything apart from the lowest setting casts shadows and will drop your FPS, so I recommend just sticking with low. It sucks that we have to go to the lowest setting, but trust me, you'd rather have this than those dreaded slowdowns. Street light quality works the same way as vehicle light, albeit much less demanding. You can't go wrong with either high or medium here, just be aware that you lose the shadows with medium. If you want a performance boost while still keeping shadows, choose high, and if you couldn't care less about street light shadows and would rather have more performance, choose medium. For cloud quality, switching from volumetric max to volumetric will increase performance in cases where there's a prominent view of the sky, like in this cutscene here. I'll take that, Hernandez. Hey, that's my paper, man. That's money. This is drug money. My money the man. only difference between the two is in the density and the amount of clouds in the sky. Let's be real, we don't really pay that much attention to clouds in this game, so just set it to volumetric for a nice bump in FPS. World shadow quality affects the shadows casted by the light sources in the game. Ultra and high basically have the same performance, and the same is true for medium and low, with low losing shadows from the distance. So it's either ultra or medium. Medium doesn't deviate too much from ultra quality-wise, and we get a decent FPS bomb. So for me, the choice is clear. Go for medium. Alright, here's a quick rundown of the settings we changed in this optimization guide. And now I leave you with a comparison between maxed out settings and our optimized settings. Thank you for watching. If you like these kinds of videos, do consider subscribing to my channel, as I have more in store in the near future. If you have questions, suggestions for future videos, or anything you'd like me to know, feel free to drop a comment below. Stay safe until next time.